is it just me or does Sylvester Stallone only make prequels and sequels? Also, this is my new co-host. What do you think? Hey kids, welcome to another episode of Nerd News. I am your fearless host, Christopher Chavis, and today we are going to be reviewing uh, the first trailer for the last movie in the Rambo franchise, which is called Last Blood. So at this point, Rambo is like 89,000 years old. He has uh, two fake hips. He has arthritis in both arms, and he can't see out of his right eye. Also, he drinks prune juice on the weekends. No, but seriously, it looks like a send-off for this legendary character that has been with us for a while. Um, Rambo is one of those things. It's the closest to like a living G.I. Joe that I think we've had, because those G.I. Joe movies really don't count, right? Now, in this trailer, it looks like Rambo is on a revenge spree where uh, it looks like he got jumped by like a billion biker gangs. Not sure why. He's out of the jungle, thank, thank goodness. But as this trailer progresses, I'm going to acknowledge the fact that it reminds me of another trailer, uh, or another movie for that matter, that had the exact same tone, the exact same color scheme, almost some of the exact same shots in that of Logan. I mean, some of the shots are pretty much the same. They're looking at themselves in the mirror in sheer exhaustion and pain. The music from the trailer are, are in the same kind of realm, one being Johnny Cash, the other one not, but the type of music is pretty much the same. Both main characters are jumped by a large gang. I mean, the similarities are, are you know, they're there, they're glaring, but anyways, Rambo. So Rambo goes on saying, uh, he's kept his secrets safe, uh, now his secrets are out. I don't know what those secrets are. Maybe he learned to tap dance all these years after all the murdering he's done. But maybe this last Rambo movie will kind of go full circle and explain certain things and or maybe a new plot that we didn't know that kind of ties them all in together. I don't know, it's Sylvester Stallone. He finds a way to do things. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. And also some of the clips in this trailer show that Rambo took a page out of Macaulay Culkin's book and booby-trapped his place just in case burglars come in and want to kidnap him. The feel that they give off in this trailer is Rambo is pretty much isolated. He has no loved ones. There's no one there for him. He doesn't have Professor X hanging out with him. You know, he's just a lonely, lonely guy with a horse. There's a country song in there somewhere. Now the main question is, do we need another Rambo? Do we need another iteration of this character? Is there more chapters to be told? I mean, why? Do we need this? I'm gonna say yes and no. Yes, because it's Sylvester Stallone and he's a legend in himself. But I don't think, <laughs> I think they should have done something in the Rambo world and taken a, 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 a plot or a character and kind of built upon that. I don't think that this movie is necessary, but here we are. This movie is, um, is, is coming, whether we like it or not. Are you excited for Rambo Last Blood? If you are, I want to know why. And if not, I would also like to know why. And thanks guys for uh, watching and subscribing. I truly appreciate it. And if this is your first time here, please hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell to be notified of all future episodes. And remember guys, even though Rambo is a billion years old, he can still break your neck with a little twist, a little flick of the wrist.